Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going to be going over how to do table calculations in Tableau. So table calculations allow you to do running sums, uh, moving averages, uh, differences from the previous, etc. So here you see we've got set up, uh, we're connected to this sample superstore data source that's included with Tableau. And here I've got year and quarter of order date uh, showing. And I've got subcategory showing here, and with measure names, I've got the regular sales, and then I've set up a table calculation. So the first thing is, how do you create a table calculation? So you just go to any measure. Uh, I call this a pill. Uh, if you go ahead and click on it, you'll get a drop-down menu, and you'll see Add Table Calculation. So I'll go to this one and edit it to see how you set it up. So you've got some options. Uh, so here you can select uh, from the different types of calculations. Uh, I'll go over running total first. And then I'll show you how uh, to compute, how the different computations work. So first of all, we've got selected table across. So you can see here, when we have table acro across, what happens is the first value is going to be the same as the, the value of the sum of sales, but as we go across the table, you'll see it's this value plus this previous running sum total. And then you've got this value plus the previous running sum total, etc., and it goes all the way across. Uh, it gives you a total of that whole row. Now if we do table down instead, what you'll see is the same sort of thing except it's going down the table. So here we start off with the first value just copied there and then we have this value of the current value plus the, pr the previous running sum. And here you got 8,165 plus this 846 to give you the 9,011 all the way down. So this is giving you uh, eventually the, t the full total of that column at the end of, end of the column. So table across then down isn't usually done, so I'll just skip that one. Pane across uh, is similar to table across. The difference is it restarts after each what they call pane. So you can see here we've got year and then we've got quarter underneath. After each year is a different pane because there's this dividing line you see here. So you're going to get this running sum, and then when it crosses one of these lines, it's going to restart. So here it's this value instead of this value plus this. So it restarts. So at the end of the line, it will show you the total uh, for that whole quarter. And pane down is going to be similar. Uh, in this case, it's, it's hard to see because I've got this measure names in here so the pane actually stops after each uh, subcategory so it actually restarts every time. So those are the main ones you're going to use is uh, pane across, pane down, table across, table down. So we went over the running sum, running total. If we do percent of total, so let's do that and let's do table down. All right. So this is calculating down, so if you kept added all of these percents up for each column, it would equal 100%, so this is giving you the percent of sales in this quarter of these different subcategories. So you can see, let me just click in here so you can see the values, oh, whoops. So here you can see, you know, the values that are higher obviously have a higher percentage. And it, it, it changes for each column because we did table down. If we're doing table across, it'll give you uh, what's the percentage over these two years that are in any specific quarter. So Q1 2017 is about 5%, so 4.8 of these two years uh, quarterly results. So we got percent total difference from, 
Um, so this is going to look at the difference between these values. So you can see the difference between this and this is 2300. Here it's 5000. Um, and you can see sometimes it goes negative because it goes down by 8800 here and so on. Or you can do a percent difference, which is just uh, normalized uh, of the same thing. Uh, rank. Rank will tell you uh, which one's the highest, which one's the second highest, and so on. So here's the highest value in this uh, row, and then the second highest would be 18,000, or if you want to do a table down or something like that. You can also do it ascending, so one would be the lowest, but usually you would do it descending. Uh, so moving calculation. Uh, so this one you're you can either do a sum, so in this case it would be summing the previous two values. Um, so in this case, uh, you can see this 24,000 is summing uh, these previous values and including the current value. Um, so it's taking these two plus the current value. Um, you can also choose null if there's not enough values. So it'll use as many values as it can if it's, this is not chosen. Otherwise, it will start, uh, since it needs at least two values, it'll start uh, three values in. Um, other thing, you might want to do average. So this will give you a moving average. So if you wanted to see, let's say, four previous moving average, this will look at the, the current plus four backwards. So let's actually do three. So the current plus three backwards, or if you don't want to use the current, you could do that in four backwards. And then that's just going to average uh, the four previous values. So this is going to be the average of these four. This is going to be actually the average of these three, and so on. This one's this value because it's only the average of that one, and I didn't use use current. So that's also uh, an interesting one to use, uh, the moving average. So you can also do secondary calculations. So let's say if you want to do a, a moving calculation and then you wanted to sum up those or do a difference of or something like that. So you're doing an additional calculation on top of that. But that's how you do table calculations in Tableau. Hope you guys learned something. Thank you very much.